Go. <laughs> you have to do it too. Alright guys, these are a couple of tips that we can use from clothes guard. So, first things first, I don't want my partner to be sitting all the way up. Because it's not helping me a whole lot, unless I can do a bump sweep. However, when I want to get my partner's posture to come down, I'm going to get what's called a baseball grip. Now, a baseball grip is basically two hands on one side like you're holding a baseball bat. So, I'm going to take one hand and I'm going to go to the cross lapel as high as I can reach. My other hand is going to go right below it. So, when I'm getting this baseball grip, I'm using all of my strength and it's going to be two against one. Therefore, it's going to help me a whole lot more to pull her down. Now, this grip isn't going to work a whole lot if Brooke has grip either on my belt or on my pant leg. Because if I'm using all my strength here, I'm pushing against myself and it's not doing anything. So I can either grip fight or really quickly, once I see an opening, I'm going to reach up and grab and pull her down. Yeah. yeah. Some tips from the top side of clothes guard for kids and adults alike is... Like Sable said earlier, you can grab a belt to help you keep your posture up, or you can grab the pants and straight arm it into there so that she can't pull you down nearly as easily. It's gonna take a lot more work from her. Another tip, if you do end up getting your posture broken, don't let your hands go on the floor. If you do that, you're gonna get submitted, whether that's Kimura's or any other random arm submission your partner knows. About 80% of your time is going to end up being spent in some sort of guard. So learning how to defend yourself and keep good posture in those positions is ultimately going to end up helping you learn to escape and stay safe. Follow us for more jiu-jitsu content.